Good morning, everybody. It is Margaret with Texas Gal Treasures, and this morning I'm bringing you my eBay and Etsy sales update for the last week. I'm also sharing with you my total sales on Merch by Amazon for the month of January, and we'll take a peek at how February is looking, and we'll uh, talk about the numbers and what's been going well and what hasn't been going so well. So if you, I am going live, so if you're in the chat, say hey. Nice to see you. I don't see anybody there yet, but let's just get started. Um, I just realized that I forgot to um, calculate the profits, but that's okay. I'll show you everything else, and you can see like the purchase price and the, what it sold for and all of this stuff. But um, the, I've had five sales this week. <laughs> if you've been watching me, if you've been following along, you know that I'm revamping a lot of things, so I haven't been listing, but I really wanted to go ahead and show the numbers. Um, just to show like not just the good times but if you're not listing things aren't gonna sell I mean they'll sell some but you know how it is the more you list the more you sell and that sort of thing so I have been cleaning out my workroom I've been reorganizing revamping and it shows in my numbers uh, but that's okay because I feel pretty happy with with the way things are going I also this week am um, listed a lot of things on a local garage sale site so made about hundred and seventy five dollars so far from the local garage sale site this week and I have a sale this morning of seventy five dollars um, for some Kendra Scott jewelry that I, I picked up as well so that's that's good you know it's a little icing on the cake there so hello I'm gonna say hi in the chat hi Mary Lou and Kelly and Kelly and Michelle hello and if you could because I always forget uh, until the very end to say this but if you could hit that like button now that way I don't have to worry about remembering later uh, I'd appreciate it so hit that thumbs up button and let's get started so good morning Joni I will share with you my sale on eBay so my sale <laughs> on eBay here it comes uh oh, Jason says, "What am I, chocolate liver?" I just saw you now. Or are you talking about your picture back there? No, I'm just cleaning up. Somebody mentioned that yesterday. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm moving forward. Hi, Coonsy Coons. <laughs> uh, all right. So here we go. So this sold. Now I think this was in my grandmother's collection. She had a lot of weepy gold, but then I bought two pieces, and I can't remember if this was one of the pieces I bought. I don't think so. I think I just bought a salt and pepper shaker. So I put that this was in my grandmother's collection. Um, and I took a best offer of $12.50 on this. So my profit will be, you know, around that maybe like $10 mark um, be, just because. Um, yeah, just because. I also, I have, you know, it's never sold until they pay. But I did take an offer on some, I always say this name wrong, Yadro. Um, figures. Let me pull that up. Oh, look, I clicked on the wrong screen. <laughs> I have too many screens open. I have too many screens open. Here we go. Um, so I took, a, uh, I listed these really early on and now like in hindsight, one, look at how, look at my listing. Look at this super small listing. I didn't do my best. I never went back and revamped it. I probably should not have locked them up. They would have sold better by themselves. Um, so if this person doesn't end up paying, that's probably what I'll do is, is bust the lot apart. Um, but I took a best offer of 200 bucks on them. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, this was really, you know, they've probably been up for about two years. And um, yeah, anyway. <laughs> so yeah, they, but they haven't paid yet. Crossing my fingers that they do. So another thing, um, real quick, I wanted to talk about on eBay. Another thing that I, I tried out this week is to put a few things on auction. I don't normally do auctions at all, but as I was trying to clear out some old stock, uh, and normally, you know, like Jason, I'm I lifey things. I just stick it up there, leave it, and forget it, right? And or list it and forget it. That's what it is. Um, I I just decided, you know what? These these cookie jars are taking up too much space. I'm done with them. They need to go. You know, so there's just things like that that I'm trying to just push out the door. And so I've gotten a few bids on things. I've got a few watchers on things. And uh, so that, that will, I'll fill you in on how those auctions go uh, as soon as everything ends up. So, uh, yeah. Hey, in the chat. Hi, Michelle and Malaya and Jolene. Hey, Sierras, how are you? And hello, Catherine. Hello, hello. Uh, so that's what's going on with some of my other stuff. If I have to look at it like if it hasn't sold, do I want to keep it? I mean, some of them are lower ticket items. Some of, I don't know. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to make a fresh start. If that makes sense. Okay, so next up, let's talk about my sales on Etsy. One, two, three, four sales on Etsy, and one of them was a nice one. So here we go. Let me screen share. 
La la la. I need to screen share you. There you are. Okay, so this sold. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm at Texas Gal Treasures, and I shared this sale. Woohoo! This, um, hey Nina, happy Monday. This sunset stitchery kit I bought at a um local, it was a school was having a garage sale, like people set up like booths all in the parking lot. Um, and this lady had like one of those big tubs full of these stitching kits and I bought the whole tub for ten dollars and there were like 12 or 15 kits in there so I paid a dollar or less each well less because yeah um, but this sold are you ready hold on to your your BVDs <laughs> um, these this one sold for ninety four dollars and ninety nine cents right there so this sunset stitchery kit what is it February something ninety four dollars ninety ninety nine cents so that is uh going out today and so my profits there, even though I didn't crunch my numbers, I'm mean, it's about ninety dollars. So pretty good. I'm gonna stop for one second because so that's a really good sale. So that's why I love picking up those stitch kits. Some are some are home runs. Some are so so. Some sit for a while, but I I, I just pick them up because you get one of those that's a, a home run. And the Christmas ones, the stockings, the wreaths. The tree skirts, those ones seem to do pretty well for me. But I saw one last week that was like, um, it was like a prayer, like a needlepoint prayer. It wasn't for that much, but it was still, I think, I don't remember what it was. Hang on, let me flip back and see on my spreadsheet. Um, so I, I always pick them up. Where did they go? Where did they go? Um, 25 bucks is the, the prayer needlepoint that I sold last week was really good. So yeah, right. That's a great sale. So for not having a whole lot of sales, that was pretty good. So, uh, oh, hi, what you selling in Florida and purple Lily, Nina and striking mom deals and Richard. Hello, Mary Lou. Yeah. I always pick up those needle points and usually you can pick them up pretty cheap in the thrift stores. Kelly says I found a Titanic one from dimensions 50 bucks. Did you sell it for 50? You bought it for 50. Hopefully you sold it for 50, but I bet that would sell for good money, right? There's some people that love that. Okay, let me let me continue on. I just wanted to stop screen sharing so I could look at you. <laughs> I needed to see your face, your your beautiful face. <laughs> All right, here we go. So next up, um, this Hawaii, you know, like Hawaii style, hang loose, trucker hat, um, sold. Oh, oh, I'm on the wrong spreadsheet. Let me flip back over. Uh, I picked this up for a buck ninety nine. It sold for thirty six ninety nine. So I'm guesstimating my profit there. You know, in the thirty dollar range. Um, again, I normally have my numbers crunched, but I didn't, I just, I got so excited. I had to come see you and I, I didn't finish crunching my numbers, but I, you know what? I just have to say kudos, Margaret. That's a good looking picture. <laughs> I've gotten way better at taking pictures and yeah, you know, you can pat yourself on the back every now and then, right? So yeah, that, that hat sold. Good job. Oh, uh, okay. What's he tweeting now? All right. <laughs> All right, so next up, these glasses sold. This is, um, if you don't watch Dorky Thrifters, um, Becky sells a lot of glasses and things too, and she, she puts out some really good videos. So um, these were some vintage Liz Claiborne sunglasses I picked up for buck ninety nine, and they sold for nineteen ninety nine. So I'm looking at my numbers. I'm guesstimating my profit to be, you know, in the $15 range or so, maybe a little more because the fees are lower on Etsy. Uh, so there's that. And they're scratched, but they're, they're prescriptions, so they, you know, the person can go get, you know, their prescription put in there. And then, oh, I have a story about this and the needlepoint kit, because I almost had a heart attack. <laughs> uh, let's see. Hello, Letitia, in the chat, and hello, Pur oh, Purple Lily. Yesterday, I saw needlepoint done on a pegboard. Super cute. Oh, I've, I, I've seen people do that on, on Etsy that they sell, yeah. Um, Kunzi says, how do I look up old cartoon patterns? like? A collage of cartoons like a really oh I don't know that's a good question um, okay so this is a hat pin holder that was my grandmother's and it was in kind of rough shape I could not get that tape off to save my life so I, I did just disclose it but because I was like after 20 minutes of trying to get this tape off I don't know I just didn't anyway I just said I couldn't get the tape off so I paid zero for this it sold for $31.99 and so my net it's, it's probably, you know, around the $29, $30 range um, just because the fees are so low on Etsy. So let me close out of that. Was I using a hairdryer? No, I wasn't. I wasn't using a hairdryer. This, again, that, that was something listed pretty early on when I was, I, I didn't have as many friends to ask as I do now. <laughs> it was pretty early on when I was flying solo. Let's just put it that way. 
<laughs> and I never went back. But the Sunset Stitchery Kit and the um, and that hat pin holder, because you know when I get a ching on Etsy, I go and I immediately take it down off of eBay. Well, I got on, you know, went onto eBay, and it wasn't there. And so I was like, oh, did I sell it? And I forgot to take it. Like, did I sell it on eBay? And I forgot to take it down off of Etsy. My gosh, you know, freaking out. So as soon as we get home, I go look it up, and no, it just wasn't there. But I went in my room and I found the item. I was like. That's weird. So that's a huge like red flag for me. But that had two items this week that were because normally I have everything cross posted. That there was a, a discrepancy on the items. I mean, I had the items, but they weren't on the sites anyway. So that just tells me that after I get done like organizing the room and stuff, I need to do a big time inventory and double check all my listings and double check that the items are are here. Um, and I think it's it's pretty good to do once a year to kind of check. If you're not like, I mean, some people have 4,000 items. I was listening to um, Scavenger Life this morning. Well, that be that might be hard to do <laughs> if I have 4,000 items. But it, I think it's something that's going to be a smart idea for me, especially going forward, you know, and in, in making sure I have everything. Um, no, I didn't. Okay, so now I know. I'll use a hair dryer. Thanks, Jason. Um, Okay. Hey, Sam Oz Mom. How's it going? And Fran needs more stuff. So then next up, let me just calculate real quick. Let me show you my spreadsheet. But I didn't do my, um, again, I didn't, hang on. My screen share thing's not popping up. There we go. Um, I didn't crunch my numbers like I normally do. I have them in the spreadsheet, but I forgot to do that last column right there. Uh, but that's okay. So you can see, you know, I probably spent two, four, six dollars on everything. And then this is profits before fees, but we can just, we'll just pretend. So $196, that's not so bad. I mean, probably, let's knock off 30 bucks for fees, probably less than that, but so 100 and something, 70 something dollars, that's pretty good. I mean, cause especially since when I first started, my goal was only to make $200 extra a week. So I, you know, not bad. But that $100 item really shot me over the edge. And please, I hope the Yadro angel people pay. I sent them an invoice this morning. So, hey, Treasure Pirate. Hey, hey, Amelia and Patty. Good morning. Okay, so now, is that everything for that? Let me share with you my merch and my Amazon. I gotta mute this. <laughs> Do you guys follow? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> okay. Good morning, Kathy. All right, so here come my merch by Amazon numbers. I'm going to show you my the, on the merch side where they, they anal, you know, show you how many of each shirt sold, but I won't show you the names of the shirts and then I'll show you profits and things. So here we go. And this is another reason. I mean, it's kind of been a game changer for how I really have to push through on my listings because, um, these are the things that sold. Hang on, let me get to the right thing over here. So these are the shirts that sold from January 1st to January 31st. Um, so you can see the all of these shirts sold. Um, yeah, so a lot of one-offs, you know, there's one cancellation there. But I had a couple that had a, a few, you know, like here, this shirt sold 10 times. This shirt sold 11 times. I'm not telling you what the shirts are. But I had a lot of shirts that just sold like one or two of the shirt. So I think, it, you know, at, at that point when you're doing merch, I know they're, they're not tearing people up like they were. Um, but it really does become a numbers game. Because I'm on the 500 tier, and I have 304 shirts up right now, and I can upload four a day. So, I mean, at that point, it just becomes a straight-out numbers game. The more the more shirts you've got, the more chances you have to sell them. You know, if you're on a lower tier, yeah, you really got it. I mean, not that my shirts aren't quality, but, <laughs> but I mean, I don't have to – I don't know. I don't. Have, I feel like I don't have to research as hard. I mean, probably if I wanted to make more money, I could, but I'm pretty happy with where I'm at right now. So let me um, share my other, my merch uh, burr, 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 spreadsheet that I do for myself. Uh, good morning, Let's Be Happy Thrifter, Kathy, Chantel, and Jennifer Leland. Good morning. Okay, so here we go. This is, so these were my January numbers. So this is what I do for myself. You know, I... This is the day of the month, one, two, three, four, five. So each at the end of each day or after a couple days, I'll come in and fill in. These are the number of shirts sold. This is the profit for the day. And then it totals up down at the bottom. So in January, I sold 107 shirts for a profit of $633. And um, 
then I plug it in over here. <laughs> I did a whole thing on my spreadsheet. So in January, this is where we're at. January, that's where we are. So far in February, I've sold 21 shirts. Um, so I'm on target to do about the same as last month, um, about 600, 600, 700 bucks. Now in December, in December of 2016, my profits were like $1,500. It was just amazing. So yeah. So I am currently, so total shirts sold this month is 128. Um, total shirts sold last month, this is where I'm adding things up, because I want to keep track of how many shirts I've sold altogether. So last year, I sold 785. So when these add up to this, these two automatically add up. And then, so this is how many shirts I've sold total on merch of all time. So I'm getting really close to have, having sold 1,000 shirts. So hopefully someday they'll, they'll tear me up. I mean, because I, I upload four a day. So it's almost more like I just want to be, be able to upload more, you know? Anyway, we'll see. So, um, oh, and then I share, hang on, where's that number? Because my sister has a very unusual hobby. And so I create shirts having to do with this hobby of hers. And those shirts have been selling and she gives me ideas and things like that. So, um, here's her, you know, I'll give her the profits from the shirts that have sold. So 14 of those shirts sold for a profit of 84 bucks. So for my profits in January, I'll be sending her, you know, PayPal $84 for her, for her brain powers <laughs> and her ideas for me. So that's pretty cool. You know, spread the wealth, right? That's what I say. <laughs> All right, so those are my numbers. It looks pretty good. Um, actually, my week, you know, even though I only had like six sales or something, uh, five or six, still, you know, pushing two hundred bucks. And then, uh, you know, the local sites that I sold things locally really, you know, increased things as well. So let me say hey again in the chat. Oh, hit the like button if you haven't already. Fifty-five watchers and seventeen likes. Let's see if we can't make that more. <laughs> Um, good morning, Lorraine and Carol's gift shop. And thanks, thanks for the uh, the kudos. Let's see. Let's be happy. Thrifter says, how do they determine how many you can upload for the day? Well, when they when they opened it back up, because they had shut it all down for a while, where nobody could upload anything, and then they slowly started opening it up, where people that were on the twenty five tier could upload. What was it? One or two shirts, and then people on the hundred. Was it one shirt or two? And then on the 100 tier, they could do two shirts. And then on the 500 tier, we could do three shirts. And then just recently, I think February, at the beginning of February, they bumped it up to now I can upload four shirts a day. And at first I thought it was like some like secret glitch. I even messaged Yong. I was like, Yong, I think I found a secret glitch. Because <laughs> I hadn't heard anything about it yet. And it still said three. So every day when I popped on, it said, you know, you could upload three shirts. And then later I would go check, like, how many shirts sold today. And there would be, and they would say, you have one more upload left. I'm like, wait a minute. It said three earlier. And now I'm like, ooh, maybe there's a glitch. Let me upload one more. You know, I thought I was being so sneaky, like slipping one in under the glitch. No. <laughs> Everybody could do it. So. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I was I messaged him and I was like, and he was like, no, I think I think it's everybody, Margaret. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> so I'm pretty happy. I make sure that I do upload my four a day though. Um, and honestly, you know, I've done some merch videos. I may do some more, but I I'm not a designer. I don't use Illustrator. My husband really wants me to, and I know Glenn and Young. They have their Merch Minds podcast, and they really, you know, emphasize using Illustrator. And I should learn it. It's really, for me, it's like not intuitive. But I use um, PicMonkey for most of my designs. And I've been doing, you know, you see, you know, those are my numbers. And I, I'm doing pretty good. So I, yeah. And then a lot of times just text based shirts, you know, have been selling. So when I show my mom, like, look, this sold. That's it. That's all it says. And she's like, what? Yeah. So. Um, how long did it take you to get approved for the t-shirts? Well, I've been in for over a year now. So it was in December last, not 2017, but 2016. I applied and it was like two or three months maybe. It was pretty quick at the time. Now it's, I haven't heard of anybody getting approved since Yvonne in December, but surely maybe some other people have as well. My husband hasn't still, and it's been like three or October, I think was when he 
applied. Um, Sherry, hello, hello, old haircuts hunter. He says, a big yeehaw from dark, cold, and rainy land of Scotland. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not cold here, so. Uh, hello, everybody. Hello, latest grace. So, yeah, um, I think that's one thing I would say to some people that are new or struggling with merch is don't overthink it. Don't overthink it um, because, yeah. Uh, oh, Chantel says, I kicked myself because I lost my account because I never realized I was approved. Oh, no. And that happened. I think that even happened to Steve Rakin. Like, he he was approved, but he was, like, learning a little more about design before he put his shirts up, if I understand correctly. And then he was trying to make sure he knew what he was doing. And then when he went to go upload, it was like, <laughs> they cut him off. You know, they cut off the – but I, I think, you know, you can reapply and, and hopefully get in. So – Crossing fingers. I'm really, you know, at first I, we last. I remember last year we were always talking about. Oh, I can't wait till they, they open it up to where there's like hoodies and other things and mugs and totes and blah blah blah. And like now I don't care. I just want to start uploading it, you know, more again. So, yeah. Okay, so that is pretty much it. Um, tip number one on on merch: don't overthink it. So, okay. Um, hit the like button, you guys. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm Margaret. Nice to meet you. And I do videos about reselling. I do videos about print-on-demand merch, eBay, Etsy, all kinds of stuff. And I do fun unboxings, and I go live a lot. So if you like to chat, come on over and chat, and we'll, we'll be friends. Okay. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for popping in and saying hey, everybody. And have a great, great day. See you later. Bye.